And a big strike out there from Abbott. And the bait, it is hit right to the first baseman, Johnson. He can't turn and find. But Davis will lace it in the left field for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard here in the bottom of the second inning. Can get aboard. Davis goes. The throw is going to get away into center, and Davis moves to third base. Close to going. But he's hit. A hit by pitch loads the bases. It's in the dirt. The game is tied. The bases remain loaded. 2 1 from Herford. Put in the air. Loading foul, Jack Johnson makes the grab. Puts the ball in the air. Moving in in right field is Nick Duminell and he will make the grab for out number three. Puts the ball in play down the third baseline. It's gonna be extra bases as he turns around and slides into second safe for the double. And that's a base hit that will score the tying run. Johnson aboard on the single up the gap. And a 2-2 ball game. And he puts the ball in the left field for a base hit. Johnson moves to second. And the Harbor Cats starting to cook off starter Riley Barrett. Weekly hit to Marco Piricello. Fires over to Jack Johnson for out number one. Now Daniel Calabrese. One, two. Ball is put in the air. Popped up. Jack Johnson calling for it. Makes the grab down the first baseline. That one hit right into right field. A base hit. Runners coming home. The throw from Duvino. A spectacular throw for going again. And a strikeout. The throw. Not caught cleanly by the shortstop. So Brewster down on strikes, but Crossland moves to second base as Nick. Ball put in the air to center. Lane Brewster tracing over, makes the easy catch. That one hit into left field, moving over easily. Weekly hit will stay fair. The throw over is not in time. One hit well out to right field. It's carrying to the wall. That will drop for a base hit. The runner moves to second and third. And that is hit into right field for a base hit. It's going back to the fence. Crossland around second. One run comes home. A second run comes home. Crossland chucks the third. It's a triple from Michael Crossland. And a 4-2 Harbor Cat lead. Weakly hit by Brewster to the third base, but he can't come up cleanly with it. Brewster will lay it out. He's in there safe. Crossland comes home, and now it's a 5-2 Harbor Cats lead. And that one hit weakly to Hudson. Shoop it short the throw. Plenty of time for out number one. Ball put in the air. Center fielder Lane Brewster. Oh, it's Crossland making a spectacular catch. Seltzer. There's a base hit to lead things off here in the bottom of the sixth inning. That's Hudson shoot. And there's a base hit for Johnson off Graham Seltzer. Turning the corner at second is shoot, and he goes easily in the third base. Runner goes, ball gets away, coming home is with his shoot, and he's eight safe. So Johnson moves to second, the Harbor Cats make it 6-3. Young goes, the ball gets away, in safely to second, and a run comes home as well. And a base hit for Crossland, another one for him today, and another RBI. It's 8-3 now. And a big hit there for Brewster, his first of the season, brings home another run, and it's 9-3 Harbor Cats. Started to open things up for the Harbor Cats. Bats haven't looked back as that ball is lifted into the outfield. Free. And a base hit from Piricello drives home the 10th run. Young stops at second. As mentioned.
Kitchen, three for three today. Make that potentially four for four. If it will drop, it's a base hit. A run comes home. Crossland, have a day for Latimer. As he's taking the ball game. The base is getting from Latimer, shut down the Edmonton Riverhawks. Big three on Rivercats 11, Riverhawks 4. Game three of this three game series goes tomorrow night at 6.35 p.m. at Wilson's Group Stadium, or of course, as always, here on HCats.tv.